Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we had a great question. Somebody was wanting to know how to add a PayPal donate button. We've got one down here. Really easy to do. You've just got to have a PayPal account. I'm using a pro account for this today. I'll take you through the steps. Once you click on this button, it'll take you to a donate page where people can put in the amount that they want. and go ahead and pay it if they want to. Let's go back. Like I say, really easy to do, and I'll take you through the steps. Okay, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to your PayPal account. Now I'm using a pro account for mine today. I'm pretty sure this is available with the non-pro. A pro account is free, it doesn't cost anything. Once in your account, you wanna go over to pay and get paid. You wanna go down to donations right here. Click on donations, it'll take you to the page that we are actually on when we got here. Now you can just add a link to one of your images to take people there, or you can actually create a button. We're gonna create a button today. So I just left clicked on the customize button there. Now it's showing us an example of the button that it's gonna create there. You can have large, obviously select your country and the language. If you want to, you can check the box and have the little card logos appear underneath like that which is quite fun. And if you don't like the look of their button, you can use one of your own. In fact, let's do that this time. I use their generic button for my page back here, which is fine. But let's do a custom one for this today. And all that is, is I've created a little button in Photoshop. I'm simply gonna drag it up here. I'm simply selecting my file from a folder, bringing it over, I'm gonna drop it in there like that. Great, well, when you're happy, hit the continue button. And it's given us an example down there. Now you can display your logo if you want to. If you turn that to on, you're gonna to have to upload your logo. I've actually got mine right here, so I may as well just upload the logo. And again, it opens a little drag and drop window. I'm going to uncheck update the business profile with this logo because I've actually already got that set as mine. And as you can see, it's put it up there. If we roll down a bit more, you can add an image if you want to. I'm not going to add one if you wanted to put an image of yourself or whatever it is you're promoting or asking for a donation for. You can add an inspiring message if you want to here. Something like that to help me keep adding new content. If you spell it right. <laughs> and as you can see, that's put that under there. Now it's gonna ask you how you wanna display your donation page. You can, I'm gonna use the full page experience, which is the most easy. And that's the example that I showed you earlier on. You can use a pop-up experience if you want to. We'll do that in another video perhaps. And that's gonna involve a bit of JavaScript. But this method right here is the most easy, so that's what we're gonna to use today. So when you're happy with that, I'm selecting the full page experience. I'm happy with everything that's going on there. Let's hit to continue. Currency you'll receive. You can choose to have them put in any amount, an exact amount, or set three different amount options, plus any amount. I'm gonna leave mine on any amount. You can get recurring donations, and give the donors the option to increase their donation amount by having this button here, which is right here. I'm actually gonna turn that one off. And down below, you can choose different programs or you can make different programs for people to select for their donation. I'm happy with mine to be just like that. I'm gonna continue. Get do donors mailing address. It's great if you're building an email list or something like that. For me today, I'm gonna to turn that one off. I don't wanna collect any emails if they're donating. I'm just appreciative that they donate. And if you want them to send you a note with it, you can leave this on. I'm gonna take that off also. And once they've made a donation, I want them to go back to the website. So I'm gonna put this one on. If you wanna take them somewhere else, you can put 
new URLs in these two boxes here. The first one's if they cancel their payment halfway through, you can say, well, send them back to this page. And the second one is when they've completed their donation, put a URL in there. I don't need anything because I'm sending them straight back to the website. You can have extra HTML variables if you like. Um, I'm not going to go in here and take a look at that if you want to. I'm not going to add them. Uh, that will complicate this a little bit. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. But if you're interested in those, it just gives you different off options for people when they make a donation. I'm going to put that off. And I think we're good to go. Let's hit the finish button. Here's our little donate button. And here's the code we need. You can either select and copy or hit the copy to dashboard. Now let's go back over to our website and actually put it into the website itself. So I'm going to go over here. Let's go to our dashboard and select one of our pages. And I'm going to edit with Divi. Okay, so we've got a page open here, just got to decide where we want to put it. Let's perhaps put it under these little blurb modules here. So I'm going to go into the row, the green little square here. I'm going to click on it, hit the green button to add a new row. I'm going to use a single row for this. And inside, I'm going to put a code module. Divi comes with all these modules as standard, plenty enough to build any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll actually give you an extra dozen modules too. So I'm going to use the code module to do this today. We've copied our code from PayPal, remember? That was here, we copied this code. Now it's in our clipboard. We can simply go into the code module, hit Control-V or Paste, and we'll paste it in there. And there's our little donate button right there, or quite big donate button, I should say. If you want their generic one, just don't upload an image. And I kind of want that in the middle, so let's go over to our design and text, and I can simply align it in the middle with that. And there's our little donate button. So let's save our changes now. Exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. There's our new little donate button. When we click on it, it'll take us to a new page. There's our logo. People can put in whatever amount they want here. And hit the next to make donations. Really easy to do. I'm not going to go through with this because I don't want to donate $100 to myself. Sounds like a good idea though. But that is how to add a little PayPal donate button to your Divi theme website. If you're not using Divi, you can just paste that code into any code module in a WordPress site or an HTML site, or indeed a bootstrap site. And remember this donate button that I've got here is a, just one that I uploaded. The original, if I go back to the home page here, is the regular PayPal one there, and I added the cards with that one, and it does exactly the same thing. So there you go, there's how to add a PayPal donate button. I hope that's answered that question. Great little thing to have on your site really easy to do. So there you go guys. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget any questions you may have or any ideas you're struggling with, put them down below in the comments and I'll try and make a video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.